Easy to see how much ASU's quarterback room has changed since the beginning of last season. Several quarterbacks behind Jaden Daniels have since transferred out of the program, but there's one that stuck around. Trenton Borgay arrived at ASU last year with no promise of playing. He was at the bottom of the totem pole. How his persistence is paying off in tonight's Sunday Showcase. ASU backup quarterback Trenton Borgay has loved the game of football his entire life. I remember first grade, school started at 8.30. I would be up at 7. I made, my, I made my lunch, made my chocolate milk, and then I would turn on Sports Center for an hour to catch what I missed the night before. It's a sport he was destined to love, a part of his roots that started in Tempe. His dad, Toby, coached his mom, Vanessa's flag football team at ASU. My dad coached her intramural uh, flag football team. They went to nationals, and that's where flag football kind of got together. It's here at ASU at the intramural fields. Trenton grew up watching his dad play and coach, and he's had a lot of success following in his footsteps in both. In 2018, leading his 14U flag football team to a win in the NFL Girls National Championship at the Pro Bowl. Trenton was the head coach. Our program has gone Tucson Turf, which is, you know, a, an elite football program known, you know, nationwide. You know, it started with just me and my two brothers, a cousin and here and there. So, I mean, it, it was five of us and now it's a program with 200 kids. His love for playing and coaching made the decision to come to ASU as a walk on an easy one. You know, when they were like, you know, you can go home and think about it. And, you know, I was like, no, like I'm coming here like I have shoot under Herm Edwards and Marvin Lewis and Antonio Pierce. I mean, there's a Kevin Mawai. I mean, the craziest thing, I still tell my dad, you know, I'm hanging out with Kevin Mawai, Coach Mawai. Like, this is a Hall of Famer. It's like meeting, like, you know, a Jedi or something. Each day, Trenton suits up with the number 16 on his jersey. He's reminded that it's all meant to be, sharing the same number as his favorite player, his dad. I'm like, hey, what? do you, you know what number I got? And so it was 16, and it was kind of like assigned to, you know, from God or just something, but... It made me realize, like, you know, I got six, not only for my dad, but, you know, for Joe Montana and really Jake the Snake. I mean, he's a legend here. The redshirt freshman was the fifth string quarterback when he arrived at ASU. And his hard work and dedication has now opened the door to become the backup quarterback to Jaden Daniels. I kind of came and I understood my role, my role at a, being the scout team. So, you know, I took that, you know, very seriously. I told myself, I don't want people to label me as a walk on or a scholarship. You know, I'm going to be me. I'm going to compete every day. I'm going to control what I can, my attitude, my effort. And, you know, everything's going to work out for a reason. So I'm preparing like I'm the starter, you know, whether I'm the first string, the fifth string, third string, whatever it is.